Welcome back. We will continue our conversation on qualitative research design. In previous videos, I talked about case study and phenomenology. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about grounded theory as a research design. Grounded theory is one of the most popular research design in quali qualitative traditions. Started in kind of 1960s and become very popular across different traditions in social sciences. Let's talk about what this grounded theory tradition is and how research is conducted in this tradition. So grounded theory is design that helps researchers to develop theories by systematically analyzing data. So whenever you think about a process of theory development, there are basically two processes. Traditionally, in quantitative research, theory is developed through a process, and that process is, is the first step is you study existing literature. So you go to the literature, previous studies or extant studies, and and you read about those things and see how other researchers, what research has been done, what are the findings. So that's the first step, understanding the existing literature, existing studies, and what they tell you. And then based on those existing literature, you develop hypothesis. So you develop a hypothesis about a theory, something is true, maybe not true, whatever that hypothesis is. And then, based on the hypothesis, you collect data, then analyze the data, and based on the result, you either accept or reject the hypothesis. So let's say if you accept the hypothesis, then the process continues. You keep collecting further data and then keep building the theory. If you reject the hypothesis, then you know what is not true about in this tentative theory. So you keep working. This is an iterative process where you keep collecting data to develop a theory. But th that's a normal process, a very common standardized process, which is adopted uh, and used in, in quantitative research. So you have a hypothesis based on the existing literature. You collect data. And, and analyze the data and see if it confirm the hypothesis or not, and then that's how this cyclical process keep going. When grounded theory came in, it provided another framework to develop a theory. In grounded theory, they said like, you don't need a hypothesis. So no need of existing lit review, no need of doing a hypothesis. So you start with collecting data. So let's say if I'm interested to understand how, let's say, the people who, if I want to understand the process of spiritual awakening, what that process looks like, and I want to build a theory around the development of spiritual awakening among people, then I will start with collecting data from the people who have experienced, let's say, spiritual awakening experiences. I'll collect the data, I will analyze the data, and then based on these two, I will develop a tentative theory. And this theory, I call it tentative because you could say like, this theory needs maybe further evidence, and you keep collecting more data to further refine the theory. 
So you see in this process, it's different in the sense that you're not building a hypothesis before you start collecting data. You are not looking into literature to build a hypothesis and then collect data and develop a theory. You are doing the process otherwise, which is more like you starting with uh, collecting data, immersing yourself in that, uh, uh, in that phenomenon that you are interested, and then based on the data that you have collected, you develop a tentative theory. And that is a reason why we call it grounded theory. There is a reason why we call it grounded theory rather than a theory. A grounded theory is the reason why we call it grounded because the theory is grounded in the data which has been collected. So this theory is, is, is not a, a figment of imagination of a, a, a researcher. This theory which is developed, it's a tentative theory and it is grounded in the data which has been collected and that's why it is called a grounded theory. So, in grounded theory, when you are collecting the data, analyzing the data, you are systematically collecting, analyzing the data to develop a theory which is grounded in the data uh, and that's why it's called grounded theory. Now let's talk briefly about what is the focus of a grounded theory? What grounded, the people who use this methodology, what is their focus? How it is different from other approaches such as phenomenology? You remember in phenomenology, we talked about phenomenology is focused on understanding lived experiences of people. So that's a key focus of a grounded theory. In, oh sorry, in phenomenology. In, in grounded theory, the focus is to understand social processes. Maybe understanding factors which are involved in a social process and developing a framework that explain the social process. Let's take the same example, the previous example that I gave. And this is a real study which I did. So I was interested in understanding the process of spiritual awakening. Process of spiritual awakening, how that process looks like, how like the beginning, a middle, end looks like, what this whole process looks like. So that was my key focus of the study and that is why I used a grounded theory approach to study that phenomenon. So this is very, very important thing to keep in mind. Whenever you think about a grounded theory study, remember that grounded theory is focused on understanding social processes and develop a framework, a theory that explain that social process. So that's, that's the, the gist of uh, where to use a grounded theory approach in qualitative research. When I say social process, another thing to keep in mind is the pattern. So pattern meaning that what those patterns of this phenomenon looks like. So if I'm doing a study, so I can say this thing leads to this thing, this thing leads to this thing, and this thing already have this thing, this thing, this thing. So what is happening here? I'm developing a framework. I'm developing a process related to the phenomenon that I am interested in. 
I'm understanding the pattern of this phenomenon and try to understand the whole process and underlying factors which are involved in the phenomenon. So, grounded theory is, is um, focused on understanding social processes. Now, let us talk about some philosophical roots of uh, grounded theory. So, the philosophical roots of grounded theory is symbolic interactionism, symbolic interactionism. What this philosophy is? Symbolic interactionism is a philosophy that focuses on the symbols that we use when we are interacting. So, the word interactionism here. In human interactions, when we create social reality, we create these realities based on our interaction with ourselves and also the people around us, the environment around us. So, in that interaction, what we do? We use symbols. And what those symbols are? Language. And in language, what do you use? You use words to communicate with other people. And along with language, what we use to interact? We use gestures. Our body gestures and language that we use to communicate our understanding, our meanings. Symbolic interactionism challenged that when we think about interacting with others, we think that it's an objective process. Meaning, if I use the word dog, we may think that, oh, dog means dog. But is it so? No, it's not. When we use a word to communicate, it has maybe an objective meaning, but also a subjective meaning attached to that. What it means? So, let us say if a person has a bad experience, maybe he has been beaten by a dog and this person, when maybe this person associate dog with fear while for another person who has a great experience with dog and he has let's say many pets in his home this person might associate dog with happiness so you see the word the symbols that we use to communicate may have an objective meaning but at the same time they have subjective meaning which is not the same for people and that is what symbolic interactionists uh, suggest that people have, although we use language, gestures to communicate our experiences with other people, but it is very important to pay attention that people attach different meanings to the same object. So, that is briefly about what social interactionism is that when you think about a reality, when you think about an object, be aware that people may attach different meanings to different objects, or oh, sorry, same objects. So, that is briefly about symbolic interactionism. So, when I think about understanding a reality, I need to be mindful of all the symbols, whether it is gestures, language being used and what is the underlying meanings that these people 
are having. If I use the word tree, people based on their environment and exposure to the trees, they will have an image of a tree, which is not going to be the same for everybody, although the word tree is tree. So that's the philosophical roots of symbolic interactionism, which is used in grounded theory. And in grounded theory, as the purpose is to develop a theory, they use a very unique process, which is very popular among social scientists, social researcher, when they conduct research. So in grounded theory, for data analysis, they use a, pro, uh, a process called constant comparative process. What it means? In grounded theory, as you start collecting the data, you start with one participant, second participant, third participant, and based on these initial interviews, initial data, you develop a tentative process, social process, a tentative theory, a tentative framework that explain it. And in this process, you do two things. One is you are doing within participant analysis of the data and across part, uh, comparison. So you are looking at participant one, two, three, and you are comparing and seeing what processes are common within these participants. And then you keep recruiting and collecting more and more data. And in this process, you develop that tentative theory. So, and this process is called constant comparative process, which is you are constantly adding more data and then you are seeing how this data is informing the tentative theory that you are developing. So constant comparison is, is a unique process that grounded theorists uh, invented to study a social phenomenon. Uh, and, and develop uh, a theory. So let's wrap it up and, and see what grounded theory is. Number one, a grounded theory is focused on developing, understanding, developing a theory, or a theoretical framework maybe, developing a, a process to understand a phenomenon. So that's the focus. Another thing to keep in mind, grounded theory is always used to understand social processes. So whenever you want to understand a process, underlying processes, underlying factors, underlying variables implicated in a phenomenon, you use grounded theory. And you come up with a tentative theory that explain the social process that you wanted to understand. It uses social interactionism as a philosophical roots, and also constant comparative process is a unique uh, invention of grounded theorists where they constantly comparing the data within participant, across participant, in the process of understanding the social process, in the process of developing a theory. So these are some key highlights of a grounded theory study. I'll see you again in another video talking about another uh, qualitative research methodology soon. Till then, thank you, see you again.